Brad, <laughs> you've been buying some serious coaches. Yes, we have. Selling some coaches. I yep. even bought an RV from you this week, <laughs> so we'll have to share that with the folks. Absolutely. But there's at least six new units that have just came in in the last oh. few days that are available. Like this 20 Cornerstone just rolled in moments ago. Exhaust is still hot. What's the story on this coach, sir? 2020 Integra Cornerstone 45W with 20,000 miles on it. It's only got 75 hours on the generator. 377, 777. That's a lot of coach for the money. And wish I had 100 of these. Yeah. And this will sell off of this little video right here. <laughs> well, I looked up NADA value on it. Retail value is going to be in the mid to high fours. Sticker was pushing like 750, 800, okay. uh, depending on options. So definitely a buy, but you've got a bunch more coaches we to do. show us. Let's go. Let's roll. So we saw a 24 four travel recently, yep. but another Realm Presidential just came in. What's the story with this coach? A 22 four travel Realm Presidential. Bath and a half non-bunk coach. Non-bunk coach, bath and a half with 3,200 miles on it, 799,999. I think this coach is 1.4, 1.5 million new, so oh, with yeah. only a few thousand miles, that's a bargain. Bargain. And I believe this is the LV2 floor it is. plan. Yes, I do know that. A very desirable color combination with the blue and white exterior, and then the interior. Let's take a quick look inside here. It's immaculate. Literally. Smells new. Smell the leather in it. Yes, sir. Smells like new, looks like new. Unbelievable opportunity for somebody. Yeah, and this design, you know, Ford Travel really knocked it out of the park with all of the fits and finishes that they Absolutely. used. I'm really impressed with this coach. Now, it is a bath and a half coach, huge rear suite here. We're gonna do a full length video on this coach, test driving it if it doesn't sell first, but beautiful tile work up the side. And then it does have the large shower that you can walk in with the bench, just beautiful tile work in there. Look at how spotless even the grout is that you're standing on, Andrew. Yes, sir. The coach is literally brand new. Yeah, it definitely smells like a brand new coach. Washer, dryer here, huge closet. Real quick, I gotta show you guys, it's got an emergency egress door behind the second toilet. We're gonna get you guys an in-depth tour going through the bays and test driving it soon, but Brad's got a bunch more coaches. Let's see what he's got. A shorty Newmar diesel motorhome. This is a sought after coach. What's going on here? Some exciting stuff, Andrew. A 2013 Newmar Ventana 3434 with 24,000 miles on it for $133,333. Is that good? Yes, sir. Short diesel pusher. A lot of folks going to the national parks that want to have a luxury diesel motor home and still be able to go to a lot of spots where you might, you know, fit better with a smaller coach. This is a great opportunity for somebody. It's even a better opportunity when I price it right. $122,222. Is that better? Definitely a great <laughs> opportunity. Now, uh, can some Someone get financing on a coach like 100%. this? Yeah, we can go 20 years on this coach. Wow, so payments can get really low. Really low on And this. then you could take in trades as well? Absolutely. This is a great opportunity, but you've been on a run with some late model Newmar product. Yeah, I've turned my buying more toward that uh, late model uh, Newmar, Integra, Tiffins even. Big horsepower we're aiming for typically. Uh, low, low miles on stuff, so I'm just really slowing down on buying the best pieces there are available in the country. So let alone our pricing. I think you've got a real low mile Dutch Star uh, late 1, model. 100 miles on it. Yeah. What is that, like a 22, I believe? 22, 4369 for 433, 333,000. Yeah, and then a Newmar Essex, I think a 22 Essex as well, the right color combination. Essex, 599, 999. Yeah, a lot of coach for the a money. Lot of coach. So we've really been paring down and focusing on just the best Newmar product we can get for this segment. And I think you've got a late model Newell that just rolled in recently as well. Oh, uh, yeah. That we yeah. take a look Come at. On. Yes, sir. As promised. So 2019, 2019 Newell coach. And I believe this was the 2019 show coach. Extremely well spec. Yeah, it's a great looking coach. I love the paint. You know, I'm black and gold. Those are my colors with the little striping of white in there. Only 38,000 miles on a 19 P50. $1,555,555. Yeah, a lot of coach for the money. Um, new Newells are 2.5 million, yep. so. I can't get enough new body Newells, P50s. If you've got a P50, you wanna sell it, call me today. You can call me on my cell phone or text me or email me. 
Yeah, you just uh, sold a consignment uh, for a friend of mine, a 23 Newell. That sold extremely quickly. Sold three 23s here in the last 60 days or so. We've sold a handful of 22s, so we're this close on a 24. So we'll see what uh, happens here, but more to come always. Want to take a peek? Yes, sir, yeah, and it's going through the detail process right now, but uh, let's uh, give everybody a sneak peek. It's probably all torn apart, but it's okay. Absolutely. It's better than the list. Yes, sir. This coach even smells new as yeah, well. It's going deep and everything. Mm -hmm. Your detail process here is on another level. What oh, do they you. do to the interiors of these coaches? Uh, I mean, just we go beyond anything I've ever seen. That's how we uh, started the dealership is just to look at everybody's, what everybody's doing and just go deeper, better, harder, faster. So if you look in the back, we start in the back here. We start in the top. We blow out the entire coach. So we get rid of all the nooks and crannies. We even find uh, original construction dust in some of these coaches as we go through. You can see back here, every single spot on the coach we're going through and just making sure it's completely detailed. Well, and I've got to point out, these are very complex machines. I came from the detailing business and I wouldn't have known how to operate this bed lift. I mean, yeah. there's just a lot of very you know intricate, complex pieces, Absolutely. moving parts, and a lot of value in your detail department understanding these coaches wow. on this level because not, not everyone understands how to work these. It's true. I mean, we have specialists that just focus on interiors of cleaning them. Uh, we have our exterior, we have our service techs, but you know, this is a very important aspect to a uh, new coach, new pre-owned coach to anybody is just make sure it's clean, spotless. Absolutely, yes sir. This coach is kind of hard to show when it's all, you know, torn up like this, but check out this huge rear bathroom, you know. Great colors. Yes, cool stuff like the different countertops, you know, two-tone countertops, who else is doing that? And that's almost like a petrified wood or some kind of a stone. Very cool countertop there. But Brad's got a bunch more coaches to show us. Let's go. Check this coach out. This is a 2006 Prevost American Carriage XL2 double slide with 88,000 miles, 299,999. Yeah, cool coach. I think we called that the James Bond coach oh, before. Oh, that's right. You there did was do a, a video. Uh, it was a different American Carriage, oh. but similar vintage. And this has some of the same features. I think this has that cool pop-up coffee table that oh, pops up yeah. out of the floor. So we'll be getting a full tour on that coach here in the Absolutely. near future. Now this coach is a buy. OA yeah. Prevost. Uh, marathon triple slide with 74,000 miles on it. You know, we were going to price this coach at $699,999. Legacy just sold an 07 triple slide for $629 with more miles and a year older, $599,999. Triple slide pre-DEF marathon coach under $600,000, a lot of value here. And I think it just rolled in, it hasn't been in. detailed. Now this is something really rare. Yep. The dual slides up front, a huge salon huge. slide. You're gonna see what a difference it makes when you go inside. It lives like a quad. Yeah, I really like this. And talking about triple slides with the two front slides, before we go in, there is a coach that is an absolute buy. You've got a 13 millennium that's got the yeah. same setup with the two slides up front, bath and a half coach. Price to sell. I am absolutely blowing that coach out at 888,000. Nobody's calling. I don't get it. Yeah. Somebody leave a comment, tell me why. Somebody call me and tell me why. But that is the best buy on the planet. I even got a message from a good friend of the channel, Carlos, who oh, yeah. sells like $40 million homes down in Miami. Oh, a contractor. Yes, sir. And he said, out of all the coaches here, that's the one uh, he's got his, uh, his eye on. Yes, he does. Come on, Carlos, buy it. And we did an in-depth video on that coach, test driving it, going in-depth. Definitely worth checking out. I'll leave yeah, that in the description below. Let's check out this marathon. I love these entryways in the marathon H's with the couple steps up to the coach area. We've got a huge salon and galley area with a J-style booth. Uh, this table does swivel to make getting in and out easy. Nice recliner here and real nice warm colors in this coach. It feels like we're in a high-end yacht. This is a mid-bath coach. We've got the water closet over here, a nice size shower, washer dryer, and then check this out. This carpet is still wrapped here in the wrapper, like I like to say. And even with the single slide room, still a lot of space back here. We've got some nice closet space and then the large closets along the back of the coach.
Fire. Brad's got a lot going on. Let's go see what he's got. And then I'm looking forward to showing you guys the RV I bought too here. So definitely worth watching the whole video. So Brad, you know how to find the coaches I like. <laughs> Obviously I did. This is a really <laughs> good looking Emerald X3. I love the paint scheme with the black, silver, and red. Really ties in well with the stainless on the X3 shell. Yeah, this is a super nice coach. How much money do you need for this? Trying to set the market, guys. We had this coach, we were gonna price this at 888, 799, 999. Under 800 grand for a late model Prevo. X3, I mean. A lot of value here. I doubt this coach will last long. Great sure. opportunity for somebody. Great opportunity. Yes, Call sir. me. Let's go in and show them and just smell. This thing smells like brand new. And, and the slide rooms are in, so this will be cool to see what this coach is like yep. while it's going down the road. If this coach doesn't sell soon, we're gonna do a full video on this coach test driving it, but let's take a look inside. Brad, you find some <laughs> nice looking coaches. And Slowing I'm a, down and buying the right stuff. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of Emerald Luxury Coaches. Emerald really builds a simple coach, just very user-friendly, easy to use, uh, less stuff that can break. And this is a mid-bath coach, and beautiful inlay on the bathroom door, beautiful tile work up the side of the water closet, and in the shower as well. Love the way they hide that fan with that tile work on the ceiling. And then we've got a washer and dryer, and a king-size bed with a huge walk-in closet in the rear of the coach. So very livable coach still with the slide rooms in. We're gonna try to get the slide rooms out and get you a full tour of this coach. But let's see what else Brad has around here. Now there's one other coach that before we got it to the viewers, I had to snag it up, so. Which one? You didn't oh, know I bought a coach, coach from you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah, thank Andrew. you. Appreciate the great deal. I already took the coach home. Didn't even show the viewers yet, but I think I'll have oh, to- uh, Give it some air time. I'll have to take you guys back and show you the new RV back at my house. Oh. But before we do that, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer, you're making deals right now. Yes, I am. You can help with financing, taking trades. All the above. Well, Buy coaches. We're buying coaches right now. We're selling coaches right now. We're taking trades. We're financing. I mean, anything that you need done, we can do it at the Motor Coach store. Yeah, sir, a lot of value in the detail process, PDI delivery process here. Thank you. So if someone's a serious and qualified buyer, who should they get a hold of? Uh, they can contact me. You can find all my information on the website. You can call me, text me, or email me. All right, Brad, I appreciate you. I'm gonna take them back to take a look at my new RV yeah, right now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks, and see you soon. All right, guys, one of these days, I'll pick up one of those nice Class A's like we saw back at the Motor Coach store. But when I saw this Winnebago Navion was coming in on trade, I had to get first dibs on it. And a lot of you that have followed the channel for a long time know I used to have a leisure travel van a 2017 unity murphy bed that i really enjoyed but i sold that a couple years ago and i've missed it ever since and i really enjoyed the gretsch strata class b but this winnebago navion with the slide room is going to be a really fun rig to use for a lot of different reasons and those of you that follow the channel know we travel a lot so i'm on airplanes a lot going to these different rv dealers but going around Florida this is the perfect size and we are going into hurricane season right now so one of the really big selling points for me on this coach was the diesel generator this has the Cummins Onan 3200 diesel generator and the leisure travel van I had had a propane generator so that was one of my complaints was I was always looking for propane so I'm really glad to have that diesel generator now and we definitely put that to use charging all the different different cameras. When we're out filming, a lot of times when we're filming these YouTube videos, we'll start transporting all of the footage onto hard drives. It's a pretty complex process to make these videos. So this will be like a mobile office. We can be really efficient using this when we're traveling to film these videos. Now, another big selling point on this particular unit is this is full body paint and I love white, silver, and black. My favorite colors for resale value. And we're going to do an in-depth tour talking all about this coach in the near future but let's take a quick look inside i want to show you a few other things going on with this coach all right so this is the 24 v floor plan and really reminds me of my leisure travel van now this is a 2018 and i love the lighting that winnebago did and that was one of the things that i noticed in the newer leisure travel vans that i really liked was their updated lighting and this reminds me of that and then i love the two-tone cabinets it's a very oh, 
almost a marine yacht style cabinets. Winnebago did a great job and I've been a fan of Winnebago for a long time. My parents owned four Winnebagos. They've been in business for a long time, easy to get parts, and it's a very well thought out build coach. Now, the previous owners, whoever traded this coach in, I wanna thank them because there's a lot of little telltale signs of someone that really took care of their RV. First of all, the Michelin tires with 2021 date codes, I'm very thankful for those. And then this is something that just tells a story of someone that was getting rid of squeaks and rattles. You can see, I think they used dental floss just to go around that to stop that from rattling. That's something my dad has done on every motorhome he's ever owned. I've driven the coach several times while he'll listen for squeaks and you know use foam and use different types of materials to eliminate rattles. So when I saw the dental floss around this door hook, I knew exactly what that meant and it tells a story. But there's one other thing that I really like that. I believe this previous owner did this because I've never seen this in a Winnebago. But those of you that saw my leisure travel van, you know, five problems, some of the complaints I had with it, one of them was the blinds up front and the curtains were basically blowing around if I opened my window. Now this is almost like an aftermarket system. I'm gonna keep those closed because there's a lot of sunlight coming in, but this reminds me of like the Prevo style shades. They're extremely flush. There's not little gaps where where you're you know, worried about people looking in the windows, barely any light coming in around the edges. So uh, I think the previous owners spent some serious money on having this set up and that's something I really appreciate. I mean, this cockpit is in excellent condition. And, and then of course, the motor coach store uh, detail department did go through this and cleaned it. And they did say it was in really good condition. It was just a little bit dusty, but still a lot of the value in them just going deep in it, making sure everything's clean. So up front here, a lot of versatility. We have the table set up right now with the slide room out. And this is where a lot of editing for these videos is gonna be taking place. A lot of editing has already gone down inside of this motor home, cup holders, is extremely comfortable. And then another cool feature that's you know in this Winnebago, I, I'm gonna compare it a lot to the Leisure Travel Van because they're very similar price point wise. And I think I'm gonna make a lot more videos as I get to use this coach and touch and feel it and really compare it to the Leisure Travel Van. But this is something that I really liked. We have this uh, skylight here, but it actually has a button where it will power open where my Leisure Travel Van had like a latching system, just a little bit harder to use. This is just a little bit more user friendly. And then we've got the day and night shades. So coming towards the back of the coach and the galley, we've got a small TV here, microwave, Dometic cooktop. Again, those two-tone faces on these cabinets really set it off nice with these wood floors. Got a small refrigerator. There's our slide room controls, diesel generator controls, LP valve. We could monitor the tank levels. It's got a full length mirror on the bathroom door. And then right now, this is actually the twin beds in the back of the coach, but we can put these cushions in the middle and make it more of like a king size bed, very large bed back here. We've got the manual shades down right now, lots of storage above. Again, I love the two-tone cabinets. Got a TV set up back here, very simple, all we need. And then we can adjust this in and set it up as twin, you know, as a seating area. So a lot of versatility with this floor plan. And I really appreciate Brad Tway giving me first shot to buy this coach. I've already got some trips planned. So we're gonna be making some cool videos with this coach. And I'd love to hear what kind of videos you guys wanna see made comparing this to other RVs. So really looking forward to doing some RVing in this coach in the near future. I really appreciate all of you that are supporting the channel and subscribing and coming along for the journey. We hope you're all having a great day.